Okay. Talk about ah, it's Gucci, Evie. Remington, Otto, and Remy, kind of jump. His name is Remington, and um, he's my pal. We go for walks every morning, and he just loves it. Then if I don't go, he's barking away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I <owe it. laughs> So I said, that it's okay, and then he's going. He understands uh, Serrano because I, I speak to him and I sing to him in the morning. Um, our our um, essay or uh, our newsletter on dogs mentions uh, a story I told long ago <laughs> about uh, the Kuiya uh, perhaps getting their um, name uh, or, or uh, at least I referred to the the possibility of the the uh, in the story it was referring to the desert Kuya, which have a, a dog clan, and I um, it was just a toss away statement, and and uh, I don't know that for a fact, you know. So the best thing for someone to do, I guess I could do it sometime. That is uh, ask. Uh, the story about their their name. Uh, anyway, that's I just wanted to mention that in case someone thought it was uh, tr true what I said about uh, in the story that it was referring to the to the desert Kuya owl and, and uh, so I don't um, know any story like that about. Uh, clans uh, in, in stories so uh, but uh, my own experience with our dogs as you can see are they, they become pals uh, very friendly and they're they're so smart you uh, you talk to them and you wonder whether they're listening or they understand because they don't answer you, <laughs> except you, you notice how he answered me when, because uh, I, I, I think he understands Serrano. Um, in the um, one dog we had uh, was Johnny. He was, uh, we were kids, and all the time, uh, I, I recall, uh, we thought that he was really protecting us even though he'd spend a lot of time just lying around on the ground, you know. I think it was an elder, elderly dog, but yeah, I don't know how his name became Johnny either. But uh, that was when um, we were on the res and um, there were several kids around, and I being one of them. And uh, it was great to have um, Johnny. It was, uh, we uh, attributed a lot of things that he could do, uh, you know, uh, and I don't recall some of them right now, but another dog that reminded me of Johnny was when we lived in uh, Thousand Oaks. Well, we lived in another canyon there, and it was, uh, the dog came with a house that we bought, and Joe was his name, and uh, he was uh, on the elderly side also, and he was uh, a little chubby, so, so we cut down on his food. And uh, one time I tossed out on the, uh, on the uh, hillside some rice, steamed rice for the birds because we had a lot of wildlife. And our dog was uh, sleeping there on the ground pretty soon. And I noticed he puked, put his head up and he sniffed. And he, he went right over to the <laughs> to the rice and, and gathered as much as he could, I guess, up. And uh, it, was, it was funny because it didn't seem like he would ever find the rice because I just tossed it out there. And it wasn't, uh, I don't think it was any food with it that is something you could smell. But I guess maybe rice has smell. So that, so that you, you can, you know that, uh, uh, 
the, what was his name? Got him his uh, Joel. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe Joel heard me yeah, talking and uh, knew where to look. Uh, you know, I don't know. But uh, there are so many uh, uh, stories about, personal stories about dogs. And my aunt, Dot, uh, t uh, talked about going to the desert, which is uh, a big deal because they went in a wagon and they packed their wagon up with everything and, and their dad, my grandpa Pete said, uh, uh, when you, don't take take your uh, your pet, you know. and, and and so she was disappointed, and she's just thinking, she started talking to her dog, uh, uh, not to uh, make any noise or you know, attract attention. She put the dog on a on a wagon, and told him to hide, muik and that she said, and the dog hid very nicely following, uh, I guess they speak, uh, understand Serrano. Anyway, they didn't, uh, they took off and uh, uh, sooner or later, uh, uh, Grandpa Pete uh, saw the dog and they laughed about it and, and said she does things like that and the dog understands, you know. And uh, there are stories like that. You know. and it just takes time to think about them. But I wanted to clarify that earlier statement I made about the, the, the Kuya clan, the Awal. I, I don't, uh, I'm not an authoritative speaker on that because uh, even though my dad is Kuya, uh, he's mountain Kuya, that might make a difference. And I did have a cousin, uh, uh, Robert, whom I should have asked. And, uh, but I will find out and report later. Thank you very much.